Hi, this is Viv with the Medical Ancillary Sales Podcast. Today it's a little bit different. I'm actually here all alone because Mike is off on location and he's out there with Robert Castaneda. Now, Robert Castaneda, he hasn't really been in the ancillary space that long. I want to say probably less than 18 months, but he has been incredibly successful in a short amount of time. So we all want to know what his secrets are and part of his secrets are having that servant mindset when he's looking after his physicians. So Mike is on location with Robert and I will let you hear what he's got to say. Hello and welcome to the Medical Ancillary Sales Podcast. This is Mike Berg and I am on location here driving between Tucson, Arizona and Scottsdale, Arizona with the world famous Robert Castaneda. Robert, say hello. Hi there. So Robert, I'm going to put you on the spot here a little bit. Uh, Guys, I've had the chance to spend some time with Robert over the last few weeks as we visit a lot of the key accounts we have here around the country. And one of the things that I see that makes Robert very successful in the field is his dedication to serving the customer. And he always says, we're in the service business, you have to have a servant's mindset. So Robert, I wanna put you on the spot a little bit and see if you could expand on that a little bit. What does having a servant's mindset in this industry mean to you? Yes, absolutely, Mike, it's, it's actually, I, I live by this because I found to be more productive. My mother always said, you, you attract more bees with honey <laughs> than you do with salt, right? So I, I've always said, if, if you wanna be successful in this, and I've seen this happen, I've seen both ends, I've seen someone go in aggressive, to a, a, a clinic and get shut down, and I see once someone approach them with a, a servant spirit, someone that's willing to listen, willing to stop and understand what the clinic needs or what the provider is telling them that, that they're lacking or that frustrates them, instead of just saying, no doc, this is the program. Um, so listening, being a good listener, being attentive to their needs, and um, most of all, wanting to be genuine, wanting to show them that you love what you're doing. I I personally love the ancillary space. I love what I do. And it shows, it's palpable. You can see it just in my presentation. And docs wanna be around it and it gets infectious and, and people wanna uh, also feel that way about what they're doing. So that to me is having a, a servant's uh, mindset or spirit. So I'm gonna, I'll ask you a question. This will sound like a, a typical uh, pharma job interview question, but can you think of a scenario with any of your current physicians, people that you have, that you have these great relationships with, where you have exemplified that that servant spirit, where you've gone above and beyond? Yes. As a matter of fact, I, I've got a, a great one. So. Um, and this goes, this goes across the board. I, I do this for, for VIPs, and I, I consider every one of my clients, every one of my providers a VIP. But I have a doctor in a rural part of uh, just outside of uh, San Antonio, and it was Friday, 5.30. He calls me in a panic. He says, Robert, I don't have a label. I've got an RPP sample. It needs to go out. This woman has a pneumonia or something. I've got to see what's going on. So I said, okay, doc, don't worry. I'm turning around. I was literally 10 minutes from my house. It's Friday. It's pizza night, movie night <laughs> with the kids and everything. And uh, so uh, I turned around and I proceeded to go to his place. And I, I went and brought him the label, shipped it off for him myself. And he was very appreciative. So, that yeah, that's a great example. I think one of the things that attracts both of us to this specific sector is that if you have a servant's mindset and you're a helpful person by nature, you really get to do that in this business because you can customize whatever kind of portfolio you need. And instead of taking a top-down approach, Doc, I got this one thing. Let me smash you over the head with this thing until I convince you you need it versus taking a more consultative approach. So how does this like fit into your approach to how you approach an office and determine what their needs are and determine what things you're going to be presenting to them? Oh yes, yeah. so it's having having this type of mindset, and having your ears open and listening, and acting on on the things that they're lacking, gives you a real real good picture of what the clinic, uh, what programs may fit into the clinic, and when you start showing them that you're there, that you're willing to roll up your sleeves and be right there and sweat right there, or even sweat more than they do, work harder than they do for them, then 
your word really becomes your bond. It becomes, it, it, it transcends sales presentations. So you can actually go in and say, Doc, I've got this really great program. It's called MedMap. And it's a new empirical medical reconciliation, Doc. And when they look at you, they take you seriously. Like, wow, Robert's taking the time to explain this to me. It must be important. And at the end, once it makes sense, the little 60 seconds pitch, it's, it's enough to get them started on the program. Well, Robert, I think this is uh, great information. I think it's very clear to see why you've been successful in the field. So hopefully uh, you guys take something away from this. Um, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Mike. Here, Robert Castaneda is a hard worker. In fact, he works harder for his doctors than his doctors do for themselves. He's willing to give up pizza night to go and help his physicians. So that's really saying something. I never, I don't think I'd ever confess that to my kids because my life might not be worth living afterwards. But anyway, we can see that Robert really puts his physicians uh, first. He treats them like VIPs. And through his authenticity and his hard work, he's winning accounts and doctors over. And as a co consequence, any subsequent sales that he has, uh, once he's got them as a customer or a client, uh, he it's just a no-brainer for them to just follow anything that he recommends. So well done, Robert, and thank you so much for sharing those initiatives with us.